Galnet News Digest, 2nd of June 3306. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, Raxler by Brute Force. Semi-reliable pillars. A reservian with ketchup. Hold the onion. A new Eden. Raxler by Brute Force. A major new initiative has started in an attempt to reveal the location of the mythical Raxler. Believed by some to be a stargate or a gateway to another universe, there are no substantiated facts about Raxler at all. However, the Raxler myth has been associated with the faction known as the Dark Wheel, and it is through the Dark Wheel that Raxler may finally be located. The theory goes that if we can assist the Dark Wheel to become a major power in the area around Shinrata and Sol, then perhaps, somehow, some sort of clue to Raxler might be revealed. There are a number of sub-goals, including expanding into the permit-locked Sol system, into Lave, into Robigo as the closest inhabited system to Polaris, and, as a backstop, into a total of 50 or more systems, while minimising the impact to the factions already occupying these systems. This sort of rapid expansion could quickly make the Dark Wheel one of the most powerful factions in the galaxy. An impressive list of factions have signed up to help with the expansion efforts. The idea is that the Dark Wheel may be sufficiently impressed by all this hard work on their behalf that they will become willing to share their research into the mystery that is Raxler. Or perhaps they won't. Semi-reliable pillars There have been many rumours surrounding Raxler. Two in particular are about a couple of statements made by Pilots Federation officials. One statement is from Commander David Braben, who, according to Commander Drew Wagar, said, It's out there and we know where it is. Which suggests that Raxler, whatever it is, exists in some form, somewhere. And that the Pilots Federation no more than their letting on. Commander Wager has more recently misquoted his own account, saying that Braben claimed that Raxler actually existed in the galaxy. The other quote is by Commander Michael Brooks, who is rumoured to have said something like, Someone has been to the system Raxler is in. Three names have been given as authoritative sources for this. Commander Ascorbius, Commander Edle Weiss, and Commander Souverine. Commander Ascorbius says he heard it with his own ears, at Lavecon, the one where crime and punishment changes were announced. That would have been Lavecon 3303. Commander Edle Weiss also heard it with his own ears, but that was at one of the earlier Lavecons in either 3301 or 3302. Commander Souverain says he wasn't there, and did not, in fact, hear Commander Brooks say any such thing, but that he remembered hearing about Commander Braben's statement. Commander Michael Brooks, when approached for a comment today, said, Always, and no comment. Commander Alec Turner describes the people who sort of vaguely remember someone saying something as semi-reliable pillars of the community. He also believes he may know where to find Raxler. It's supposed to be a gateway to another universe or dimension, right? Well, if you press Escape and look at the last option on the menu, where do you think that takes you? Oresrian with ketchup. Hold the onion. 
follow the director and pillar of the community, Obsidian Ant, has been accused of cultural insensitivity after he suggested that fleet carriers could be used to barbecue Thargoids. A throwaway remark by Commander Sanderling about using his tinfoil hat to clean his barbecue apparently set the Video Supremo thinking. And what he thought was, in his own words, that the carrier's topside platform would function quite well as a barbecue. Spurred on by a gaggle of excitable hull seals, the famous auteur suggested angling the carrier towards a nearby star, pinning a Thargoid on top, and a short time later having a lovely meal of ammonia-based life form with chitinous exoskeleton to enjoy. Of course, you always cook more than you can eat on a barbecue. Tharg the Mighty has expressed his dismay at the suggestion, pointing out that while it is true that baby Thargoids live their early lives by eating other life forms like humans from the inside before escaping explosively through their chest, this is a natural part of the Thargoids life cycle, whereas barbecues are not essential to human life, certainly not barbecues with Thargoids on top. Except, of course, in Australia. May Swallow of the galaxy's only fast food outlet specialising in reclaimed Thargoid meat products, McThargoids of Barnard Star, has threatened to sue. However, creative genius Ant remains unrepentant, pointing out that using fleet carriers as barbecues in this way would at least give them a worthwhile use. A New Eden One thousand two hundred and ninety years ago, in the year 2016, a group of scientists on Earth discovered what they believed to be a roughly Earth-sized rocky world orbiting Proxima Centauri. On Thursday the 28th of May 2020, the existence of Eden was confirmed. The University of Geneva Espresso Spectrograph linked to the Very Large Telescope in Chile, confirmed the existence of what was at the time known as Proxima Centauri b, with a mass almost exactly the same as Earth, orbiting close to the cool Proxima Centauri red dwarf, with each year lasting only a few tens of days. It was less than a hundred years after that discovery before the first generation ships set off to colonise the galaxy. The name Eden was chosen to encourage colonists to travel to what turned out to be a not particularly hospitable planet. Nonetheless, a mining operation was established with an orbital transfer station, Hutton Orbital, used to ship out bulk goods and provide one of the earliest links in the network of trading posts that characterised the first steps in colonisation. Initially beset by the problem that it was quicker for trading ships to bypass Eden due to the year-long deceleration required, the decision by the Galactic Authorities to categorise Proxima Centauri as part of the Alpha Centauri system, something that it really is not, later meant that it was not possible to use the frameshift drive to travel directly to Eden. Now, however, at last, with the imminent release of fleet carriers which can jump directly to the Proxima Centauri system, the Hutton Orbital Truckers Cooperative is hopeful that Eden may finally become the galactic hub it has always been destined to be. And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News, we read the news so you don't have to. <laughs>